learn about natural selection and genetic drift. There is a population of white rabbits residing on a hill. Some time after, a fox comes to live on the hill. The fox hunts these rabbits for its survival. Gradually, the number of rabbits on the hill decreases. We know that sexual reproduction produces variations in the population of all organisms. Suppose there is an occurrence of color variation during reproduction of white rabbits. Due to this, now brown rabbits also appear in the population. Brown rabbits will give their brown color to their progeny, because of which the color of all their offspring will be brown. The number of white rabbits here is higher than the number of brown rabbits. So, white color is a common feature in this situation. The color of the soil of the hill is brown. Fox can easily see white rabbits on brown soil, while brown rabbits cannot be easily seen. Hence, fox hunts more white rabbits than brown rabbits. The more the white rabbits fox hunts, the less will be the white rabbits available for breeding. So, the population of white rabbits decreases. Conversely, Brown rabbits remain hidden from the fox, so more brown rabbits will become available for breeding, so their population increases. After a few generations, the number of white rabbits will be much less than the brown rabbits. In this way, white color that was initially a common characteristic in the rabbit population became the rare characteristic while brown color that was rare characteristics in the beginning now became the most common characteristic. If the brown variation had not emerged, in this case, the rabbit's population would have reached on the verge of destruction. But due to the variation of brown color, the rabbit's population is now getting the survival advantage. Changes that give the organism the benefit of survival in the environment are called adaptation. Another important thing comes up here. Can you tell me what is that? Think about it. Let me tell you, this change has occurred with the arrival of the fox on the hill. Had the fox not arrived on the hill, the situation would be different. That is, in this situation, nature has chosen brown color. Similarly, nature selects those organisms for survival and for reproduction which have the necessary adaptations to cope up the changing environment. That is what we call natural selection. Natural selection is a process in which organisms with favorable traits are more likely to survive. From this we understand that natural selection is taking the organism towards evolution. The theory of natural selection was proposed by Charles Darwin in which he said that all organisms compete for different needs like space, food, and shelter and to survive in extreme conditions. The organisms which show the necessary adaptations win in this competition and survive. For example, some organisms are taller in height. They can eat the leaves and fruits of tall trees, which lower living organisms cannot. The skin of some creatures is thick, so they can live in a cold region. But thin-skinned creatures are unable to live in a cold state. Living organisms reproduce and transmit the variations to next generations. Often, it gives rise to new species. 
in this way organisms evolve by natural selection now let's talk about another interesting fact of evolution now suppose a rabbit with brown eyes lives on the hill due to the variation rabbits with blue eyes are produced in the population this time only the eye color has changed in the rabbits therefore foxes can hunt all rabbits this reduces the size of the rabbit population that is the number of rabbits is reduced one day a lot of rabbits are killed due to volcanic eruptions on the hill but incidentally some blue eyed rabbits survived now their population grows but now majority of rabbits have blue eyes in this way due to sudden accident in the rabbits population the character of brown eyes which was common in earlier case became rare and the character of blue eyes which was rare are now normal here the accident of rabbits with blue eyes was mere a coincidence from which few rabbits were survived and hence the population in this situation the difference in the color of the eyes did not help in survival here due to an accident there was a change in the common character of the eye color that is brown in other words we say that due to accidents the frequency of genes of brown color was changed in this way random changes in the frequency of a gene by chance is called genetic drift genetic drift is directly related to the size of the population if the size of population is small then the genetic drift will be more therefore the number of organisms must be very large in the population of the organism such that there will be more chances of survival of the organisms from the sudden accident and thus there will not be much effect on the frequency of the genes that is there will be no genetic drift so genetic drift affects the diversity of organisms and also plays an important role in the evolution of organisms now you must have understood natural selection and genetic drift so today we have learned about natural selection and genetic drift